involving the Ebola virus. The first patient to be diagnosed with Ebola in the U.S. has now died. He passed away at a Dallas hospital this morning. But first, there has been an Ebola scare right here in southeast Wisconsin. That's right. Fox 6 has learned the Kenosha County Jail is taking precautions and monitoring a person there for signs of the virus. Local officials are now in close contact with the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention as well as other federal officials. Our Meyer Sanchez is now here with the exclusive story. The Kenosha County Sheriff tells me that early this morning a woman came into the jail and as officials screened her, they realized she's from Liberia, a country hard hit with the Ebola outbreak. And now it's important to note so far she has not shown any signs of being infected, but the jail is taking precautions. 1 a.m. Wednesday morning, a woman was transported here to the Kenosha County Jail after landing at O'Hare Airport in Chicago. The Kenosha County Sheriff tells Fox 6 the woman was brought in as a federal immigration detainee until she can be deported. Officials soon learned, although she flew from Belgium to Chicago, she is from Liberia, a West African country battling an Ebola outbreak. It's a scary uh, disease that's out there. We've made uh, calls to the uh, CDC, um, and they've sent us information, immigration has sent us information, and uh, uh, it, it's something we need to address, and everyone really across this country needs to address. Also Wednesday, Texas health officials announced the first person diagnosed with the Ebola virus on U.S. soil has died. He was admitted and kept in isolation since September 28th. That victim had come from Liberia. The Kenosha County Sheriff says it's now important that jails have plans and be on the watch. We realize that it's not just people that would just enter the country and, and go visit, visit the people. We have to look into this as a serious threat too. Kenosha County Jail Medical Staff is monitoring the Liberian detainee twice a day, looking for Ebola symptoms with a checklist from the Centers from Disease Control. Officials have also been in contact with area hospitals as to what will be done if the detainee shows symptoms. We currently have a person in the medical ward or transporting them to the medical ward in, in um, uh, a negative airflow um, cell that we have. And uh, the medical staff are, are looking into this person. We're doing an, an interview at this moment as we speak with this person and, and where they've traveled and where they've been to. And the Kenosha County Jail does house detainees for immigration officials on a regular basis, so that's not unusual. Again, this immigration detainee does not have symptoms of Ebola. All the precautions have been done when officials learn that she's from Liberia, and she's expected to be deported back to her home country. As for how she got into this country or why she's been sent back, I don't have the answers yet. The Federal Department of Customs and Border Protection, which has this case, has not returned emails. Brett? All right, my